Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today I just want to do the conclusion of the Holy Stone HS165. Uh, I had the review up I think about a week ago, the overview. And I said I'd get a flight test done. I have got a flight test done. I've just flown it outside my house here because it is small and it gets away from you quite quickly. So I thought I'd do it close in so you could get some kind of what it looked like in the air recorded with the GoPro. So my overall impression. So it flies really nicely. It does fly well. It's a nice little flyer. The battery life said it was 14 minutes. I've got 12 out of it. Um, and that was its first charge. The motors are quiet. It's stable and in the hover. It's really nicely stable in the hover actually. For what it is. The camera, although you can't angle it, you can't change its angle, is at a decent angle actually. It's not too bad at all. The controller. Although it feels very, I can't get over how light this thing is in my hand, but it does control it really well. The fact I could swap this to mode one was an act was a benefit for me. The phone held in nicely. There was no way it was going to fall out because it's got these nice little rubber bits here. Uh, and overall, it's not a bad controller. Like I, I just, you'd have to experience how light this thing is. Everything works it there. The return to home, which you're going to see in the video, came back within probably about two meters from where it was which I don't think is bad at all for a toy grade drone the speed mode made a difference if you, the speed mode 2 when you flicked it up to speed mode 2 it was quite a bit more responsive but you're never going to get any kind of stable video when you got it in that speed the camera and video worked as they should and they recorded to the SD card without any hassle I didn't have any trouble with SD card I think I had a 16 gig use one in here and it recorded absolutely fine to it I didn't try headless mode, I, tried, I flew it in and out of GPS, it flies really nicer than non-GPS drone. So overall, yeah, I really did like it. But the butt, and it's a massive butt. If you've looked at the price of this thing, it's around £180. They need to knock 100 off it. At £80, I'd probably just about recommend this. Remember, you've got a Z5 you can buy for that money, an SJRC Z5, which is to me as good if not better because I can tilt the camera the video footage doesn't look too bad but it's not earth shattering by any stretch of the imagination it is 1080p I just really cannot get over the price of this thing and I've reviewed quite a lot of Holy Stone stuff as you know and every, every time I see them they're a bit expensive you're paying a bit more than you should be paying maybe 20, 30, 40 pound even more than you should be paying because you can buy it off Amazon but there comes a time where you've just got to go hang on a minute that's just a bit expensive and this is this time there's no, I cannot recommend this drone at this price if this drone was 80 pounds I'd probably recommend it just about if it was 70 pounds I'd definitely recommend it but at, at the money it is it's just too much of a stretch for anybody in my opinion and I can't get over the price of this thing it's not like it comes with loads of accessories and four batteries and everything else it comes with one battery and what you saw in the unboxing when I did it last week that's all you get in the box you get nothing else so for that money sorry but no I can't recommend it but really nice flying drone if you're lucky enough and you can get hold of one of these for 70 80 quid yeah go, go it because it flies really nice it was a joy to fly it held its position really well it did everything it said it didn't drop altitude it did turns really nice it was a really nice beginner's drone in fact it's probably one of the best beginner's drones i've flown and the build quality seems good but the price is shocking i'm going to leave you with some footage so i'm not doing a voiceover on top of the footage you're just going to see some footage and what you're going to see is it hovering outside a quick little video you're going to see the app screen pick um, what the app looks like on the screen when you're flying it because i didn't really go over that too much but you're going to see that and then i've got like a two or three minute cam video footage from the camera you make your own mind up but like i say see if you can get one in the sale or wait for the clone because someone's going to clone this and it's not going to take long. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.
Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.